Hey, what's up? So this question is uh, really interesting. I'll give it a uh, It's got me thinking actually. So it's called sort by height. So uh, you can read the description, but as you can see, we have this list of numbers. And what they want us to do is to sort all of these, and but keep the minus ones in place. Uh, according to the questions, these minus ones are trees, so you need to sort the people, but keep the trees in their places. Uh, so this will be out, the output of this input uh, to this function will be minus one, so this will stay the same. Then the smallest number, which is 150, then 160, then 170. Then we have, so we fill these three numbers. Now we have two trees. They, these should be stay in the same place. So minus one, minus one. Then complete the uh, normal uh, sorting uh, numbers, sorted numbers. So 180, 190, from the smallest to the biggest. So actually, uh, uh, it, that, it, it took me some time to understand what I should do, but I think uh, I, the simplest approach is first thing, let's get the numbers are at that minus one. I'll call them holder. I'll use this comprehension. So for each x in a, just add x to holder. Or if the x is not equal to minus one, this is actually equivalent to the filter function in JavaScript. But uh, you can actually use filter here as well. They have it. But this, I think, this is in Python or uh, small Python. So I'm just pretending the numbers are not minus one. And what I will do, I will sort them. So sort it. And what I will do now, I will loop for each, um, yeah, I'll, I'll just uh, loop in the original address. And whenever I see uh, a number that is not minus one, I will replace it with a number from the holder. So I will just modify the original address with the values uh, of the sorted address whenever I see a number that is not minus one. So that, that's mainly the idea. So I will start for i in range, the length of a. Oops. Now, if I found a number that is not equal to minus one, I will replace it with the smallest number I have. I will call it, uh, or it will be in the index j. So let's create this, it will be in zero. So sorted will return a sorted array from the smallest to the biggest. So f i will be equal to the current element in the holder array, and I will increase our j. And that should be a return a. So I'm defining the, the same array. So I think if you think about it uh, in different ways, this could be really complex, but uh, it's, it's just like this. It's really simple. And uh, thank you.